arrived in Iowa. We made it to uh, Chad's place. Five years since the last time I've been in Iowa. It takes five years to draw a tag. And I could not have been more excited when I got the email from Eric at WTA that you were successful. So fast forward a couple months. I'm here, Iowa. It is, well, it's supposed to be the rut. Today is Halloween, but it's also 65 degrees outside. So we will see. Um, just got in camp a couple hours ago. We're heading to a farm that uh, Chad highly recommends. So we're gonna just kind of sit back, glass tonight. It's, we didn't have enough time to make it into a tree stand. So kind of took our time, unpacked, and got uh, about an hour and a half till dark. So we sit back, glass, see how the deer go on the farm. There's cut beans, alfalfa, and standing corn all on this property. So we got everything that deer want. Hopefully there's some does, which will bring the bucks, but cold front this weekend, and that's kind of what we're preparing for. Kind of what we expected, slower movement. It is still very warm outside. We'll see what the wind's gonna do tomorrow. But uh, I'm, I'm still jacked up, even though tonight was slow. We're in Iowa, five years waiting. I finally drew this tag. Oh, I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm very excited right now. first evening that we got here a perfect south wind they should walk up this grass right here and hopefully come right in our laps if they move again it's 78 degrees on November 1st so not ideal but I'm jacked up I am jacked up towards the end of the week the weather's supposed to cool down so hoping that uh, that gets the deer moving but just bide our time right now. We came in here, hung a new stand. Seems pretty dull. We're tucked into this cedar tree. I mean, they should not see us. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let the Iowa activities begin. <laughs> Good, but hey, there's 
definitely big bucks in the area. had him dead nuts at 44 yards and I was not ready I saw him in the corn he was he was in the corn eating and I honestly the angle I was seeing his horns through the corn I thought it was a smaller buck that was in there and as soon as he started coming back out towards us I'm like okay that's one It's the first cloud cover we've had and 
it definitely helped out. Had a really nice deer. I think I would have shot him. Short main beams, but just an awesome deer. Full on dog and a doe. And we still have two buck bucks bedded below us. Apparently they don't care about people. Unfortunately, we did not prepare for an all day sit. I didn't think it was going to be this good today. So we're going to sneak out, grab some food, and come right back in for this afternoon. High hopes for this afternoon. Weather rolls in tonight. Big, big cold front with rain. 20 degree temperature drop, so that rolls in tonight. So I think tonight they're going to be on their feet before that rain hits.
That is why it is worth waiting five years for a bow tag in Iowa. First, we see the A point. He goes out in the cut cornfield. Next thing you know, we have a, a big 10 point coming at us. Unfortunately, the wind is doing a complete 180 right now. We're gonna have a north wind the rest of the day. And that eight point is to the south of us. It's not gonna work out. We gotta, we gotta pull out of here. We don't wanna blow up this whole farm, especially that eight point. And I know he's on the farm right now, so we're gonna sneak out. I'm gonna get up on top of this hill and glass and try to find, if I can find a tree that we can sneak into, that'll be good with this wind. My guess is that eight point's gonna follow the does out into the cornfield tonight, so see if I can find a spot, but we need to slip out of here while the wind is switching before we uh, blow up the farm, so. Thank you. 